Hello, this is Rob from robcoven.com here. I'd like to show you a bit about how I designed this logo for this website visual. So we go into Illustrator, do Command N or File New, create an RGB document landscape so it fills up the page. Once you've decided on your design, of course you need to type out the logo word first of all. It's creative design, all one word, and I decided to go lowercase and I based it off the Futura font. So there it is in text. First thing you should do is to go on a Mac Command Shift O or Control Shift O on PC or type Create Outline and then you should go Command Shift G or Control Shift G which ungroups the letters. You could also go object ungroup. So now you're free to move around all the different letters and change it in any way that you wish. I'll show you how I did that now. First of all you got to choose your font and I went through a, a few. A good way to do this is to use a font program like Suitcase. Check it out in all your favorite fonts or maybe when you were at the design stage and scribbling it out you could see a font in your scribbles coming out. I noticed that uh, Futura had very nice sort of circles on the A's and circles on the A's and the E's and the C's and the D's and it all looked as though it would really work for this particular logo. So I started with Futura. The next thing I did was choose a bit of a lighter weight and close it up a bit. I put some tracking on the text just to make the logo look more compact. I changed the eyes a bit, as you can see. I also changed all the S's. And then the last thing I did was drop the eight down. I'm not the best logo designer in the world, but that was my process for designing this logo. The last thing I remember doing before I finished the design was I showed it to a friend who's a designer and that's always a good idea and he said best thing to do is, is to make that 8. You've made a feature of it so why don't you just make it red. I'd already decided that the action colour should be red. We're going for a red, black, grey colour scheme. He was absolutely right of course. It looks much better with the 8 in red. Of course you can make design changes in the development stage, little tweaks and everything, but it's always best to get it as a PSD in the Photoshop document and uh, so you can show it to people and, and see if they like it. Okay, so this is Rob from robcubbon.com. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.